Today I'm going to show you how to make and talk a bit about hydrogen gas, which is the most abundant and lightest element in the universe. To do this, I simply react sodium hydroxide with some aluminum foil, which will quickly generate hydrogen gas and aluminum hydroxide. Now, despite being a gas, hydrogen is actually in group one of the periodic table along with the alkali metals, and can perform a lot of the same reactions. One key difference though is when hydrogen reacts with one of the halogens, instead of forming a salt, it'll form acid, such as hydrofluoric, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, or hydroiodic acid. It'll also react with the chalcogens to form either highly toxic gases or water. However, hydrogen is most known for being explosive, as you can see here. This is because hydrogen will react readily and exothermically with oxygen in the air to form water. This property allows one of hydrogen's other most important uses, which is the removal of sulfur from fossil fuels by forming hydrogen sulfide gas. Hydrogen is also used extensively in industry to hydrogenate unsaturated fats and obviously as a fuel source. Additionally, the hydrogen isotope deuterium has been used extensively in prototype fusion reactors and the isotope tritium is used in making atom bombs. On that note, hydrogen naturally exists as three primary isotopes, protium, deuterium, and tritium. And the vast majority of that hydrogen is protium, which exists with one proton, one electron, and no neutrons. This topic of isotopes is in of itself fairly complex, and if you'd like, you can leave a comment and I'll try to do a full video on isotopes. Anyway, the last thing I want to say about hydrogen is that, like many other gases, it can be put into an ampule under vacuum pressure and energized to release a specific spectrum of light. I've done a video on this before, which you can check out if you're interested, but hydrogen gas has an emission spectrum that is almost purple to the naked eye. But when you view it under a diffraction grating, you can tell that it's actually comprised of primarily teal and fuchsia pink light. And uh, yeah, that's all I can think of when it comes to hydrogen. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, specifically more element videos, consider leaving me a comment and following me on TikTok or YouTube.